So looking at my messy workbench again here for the quote of the day. I thought this one was pretty good. Please think of the things in your life that you are proud of, that fulfill you, that make you happy, and write them down somewhere. And look at that list every time you feel that you are failing. By Jamila Jamil. Got Jesse back out here working on the puzzle fox again. So the last thing I showed was working on the rear shock tower reinforcements. So I'm working on getting those water jet cut. So hopefully I'll have that stuff soon. And I figured in the meantime, the next thing on my list was working on the seat brackets. So what I had done was I had cut some cardboard templates out for the right hand and left hand side so that they'd mount right down to the floor. So you got holes in here, of course, where the studs from the floor poke through. And what I had done was I had made some of those makeshift brackets to, and I mounted it to one of the seats in there. So I used those brackets to mark out these holes. So these holes right here, well, the markings for the holes line up with where the holes are on the on the base of the seat. And I was kind of working on that and then I thought, well, I want to decide or I was trying to figure out what I really wanted to do for brackets if I wanted to like make something that mounted up tight to the bottom of the seat and then curled over and, and went up to the side bolt holes or kind of mimic what some other manufacturers do where it just kind of comes down and has like a 45 degree bend and another 45 degree bend underneath the seat. So that's kind of what I was thinking of doing here. So thank goodness for my uh, cardboard here. So I marked off, did a bunch of work. I had it marked up so that it was up past that seat belt opening in the seat, but then I thought, well, I'll trim this down and uh, so it can kind of mirror it from side to side. So I had these kind of bolted to, to the side of the seats and got notches here because I want to fold it over and kind of have it sitting flat with these feet here and made a bunch of markings and figuring out where I wanted bends and how high everything sits up off. And then figuring out how high this seat sits up off of the floor from the like from the base here up to the to the base of the seat. And uh, got some stuff marked up here. So what I'm thinking I'll do is probably just make uh, some of these seat brackets, draw them up, and just have some slots here like every couple of inches uh, or every inch or so here. Just and make a couple of slots here on each side. And then I can uh, figure out where exactly how I want to mount this uh, seat base in here. But uh, trying to figure out what I really want to do for that. Going to try to get some stuff drawn up in CAD at least so that I can get some of this stuff cut out and then figure out exactly what I want to do for how this mounts to the floor. So I figure what I'll do is have these side brackets so that they're bolted to the floor bracket and then I can set the seat in and then just bolt the seat into the brackets on the floor. So that's my plan for now. Um, we'll see how things kind of develop here as I have a little more time to think about it and draw things up and uh, see if I stick with my original plan here. All right, so I'm going to do some unboxing here. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Hopefully. LMR. Hopefully this one. So I know a lot of people complain about getting banged up boxes from LMR. And I know this bottom one's a fuel tank and that box is a little beat up too. But I think this one's the contour fan. So we'll pop all this stuff open. So let's wait for Owen to be around so we can unbox this stuff together. So luckily, where it's broken, it's away from the raid, the fans there. So this one is the LMR fan, or the contour fans. I thought it was supposed to have a wiring kit with it too, but. All right, this one I'm kind of excited about. This one. Ready? Ready. It's the radiator. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
SSV radiator. The aluminum side chains. Yep. Nice welds. Yeah, looks pretty good. Placement fuel tank. Just don't drop it because. Alright, let's see what's in this box. Paper, it's just paper. Good paper. What's this? Oh, no. There's the straps. Yep, the straps for the tank. The tank. And uh, the grommets for the filler neck. Got an adapter to get rid of the cooler on the engine. Pedal. This one. Pedal. Pedale. This one's all the pads that go on top of the tank, between the tank and the body. There's the pins that hold the straps underneath. Oh, I think this is... Ooh, stickers. Yeah, I think this is the hardware to mount the straps. Those are rusty on the car. That's cool. Some type of machine over them there. Yep, that's the throttle. Yeah, but that's the scram speed so you can mount the electronic throttle to the floor of the... So it's the throttle pedal. Oh yeah. The goal pedal. Overflow tank. For, for the radiator. Oh, for the cool. rad. That's cool. Alright. Stick no, hold on. Oh. I almost threw away stickers. I didn't throw it away. I just was gonna throw it. Right here. stickers. That's the brackets for the cooling fans. Oh yeah. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's what they're oh, okay. Yeah. So that's to mount the cooling fans to the radiator. No. I think this is the box I was waiting for. Here we go. There it is. Look at that. Braided lines. Yeah. With A and fittings. Braided lines with A and fittings. So oh. this is all the fuel system that I need. I like those. So, supply and return. All the clamps and more fittings. More AN fittings. Is this enough to get away from the back? That's everything to mount that tank to the Coyote is all in this box. Okay. So you got brackets. This is the fitting that mounts the AN to the fuel rail. Fuel pressure gauge. Here's a fuel. There's a bunch of liquid in it. Yeah. Huh. It's supposed to be. Hi Barney. Barney wants to check it out too. So here's a fuel pump or a fuel filter bracket. There's a Ford fuel filter in here. These all little straps to mount. Yep. The frame all the clamps. Yes, yeah, so it mounts to the original spots. Uh, I think that was 85 bucks if you bought it by itself. The fuel pressure regulator. Okay. Here's 50 cents of Barney. Can we do it? Of tie straps. Here's the main piece right here. Stickers. Ooh. Air motive. I forget what this is, 340 liter per hour, a little fuel filter saw. So this is what I think is really neat, all the nice fitting right in the top. You'll never see. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never see once it's under the car, but it sure is pretty right now. Good stuff. 
Yeah. 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 No. All right. We so that's ready. all the stuff I have. So I think that's all I need for the fuel system. I still got to order the power by the hour speed drive for the front of this guy. And then uh, radiator hoses. And I don't think I'm going to hook up the AC and the heater right away. I just want to get this car running. So that's where I'm sitting right now. I'm still waiting for my brackets to be cut to go on the rear of the car. Um, we're working on, I drew up brackets for the seats. So those should be getting cut sometime. But I got to work on drawings for uh, the bending of them. And that's kind of where I'm at right now.